the Sharks got a very exciting overtime victory over the Toronto Maple Leafs. 4-3 to three final score. The Sharks get back in the win column. Their second overtime victory of the season. And a good one over Toronto. Obviously, the Sharks had a great start to this game. They scored within the first minute. And they were able to, you know, get some more goals, accumulate those goals. Logan Couture, really the star. And he had his 300th career goal in this game. Eric Carlson ultimately got the game winner for San Jose, a great play that capitalized on a Toronto turnover. And so the Sharks got a win over the Maple Leafs, a team that, you know, obviously we know is a playoff team year in and year out, albeit they don't make it far in the playoffs. But, you know, still to beat a team like that is pretty nice. And so, yeah, it was really cool to see the Sharks get that nice victory over Toronto. And so, yeah, good one for the Sharks overall. So, yeah, like I said, Logan Couture started things off for the Sharks, scoring on early it was one to one at first intermission. Uh, the Sharks and Maple Leafs were kind of going back and forth, and it was a good, you know, it was a good matchup. Uh, I think in terms of you know how equal it is, but the Sharks obviously have been struggling. So yeah, 26 seconds, all it took for the first goal is Logan Couture, and that was a really good goal from him, the captain. However, David Comp scored for the Toronto Maple Leafs, tying it up, and that was about five minutes after Couture scored, making it one to one. Then we fast forward a little bit and we go into the second period where we'd see some more goals. Logan Couture got his second of the game. And um, yeah, it was great from Logan. He had a very good game, best game for him in a while. That made it two to one. And then Timo Meyer scored the third goal for the Sharks and that put them up three to one. And so they had a confident lead. Of course, that lead would slip away a little bit as the game went on, but Timo made it three to one on the power play. Logan Couture got the assist and yeah, great game from Logan all around with the passing. And so that was really good to see. Mitch Marner scored towards the end of the second period to bring the Leafs within one. And that was with about 25 seconds left. So I made it three to two. And we would head on a little bit further to the third period where Austin Matthews, who was actually born in the Bay Area. Um, so sort of a homecoming game for him. Tied up the game with an absolute slapper. Great play from Matthews. And that tied the game up. A little bit heartbreaking for the Sharks with this lead. But it didn't end up really affecting the outcome much. So it was 3-3. Three three. Uh, Kapo Kakinen had some good saves towards the end of this game to keep the Sharks in it. We go into overtime. It only took about a minute, a um, little bit less than a minute. Eric Carlson, you know, goes all the way. He gets a pick six, so to speak. He gets a turnover in the Sharks' own zone. And, um, you know, it's a good pass by, you know, the Sharks as well. Timo Meyer to set it up. This steal actually wasn't by Eric Carlson. It was by Timo. And he passed it up to Carlson, who had a breakaway chance, and he got it. Made a nice move. Great stick handling. And so the Sharks win it. And so, yeah, overall, a good win from the Sharks. Player of the game, I think it's Logan Couture for sure. Um, congrats to him for getting his 300th career goal. It's a great milestone. He also had an assist, so three points on the night. Carlson had a goal and two assists as well. Barabanov had two assists. I mean, the Sharks played pretty good overall in terms of, you know, getting the puck around, moving the puck, and not forcing anything. Kapo Kakinen didn't have a great game. He was 22 of 25, but didn't end up mattering. The Leafs had uh, Kyle Grant in net. He was 27 of 31. Pretty equal game to Kakinen, of course, losing it. But, you know, he had to face more shots than Kapo did. So not, you know, a bad game at all for the Sharks. Um, of course, wanting to get back in the win column. I feel like, you know, to lose again, and, you know, this is obviously our... 10th game of the year if we were two and eight i feel like three and seven just feels better we're gonna play the stanley cup runner-ups in the next game and that'll be against the tampa bay lightning of course at home uh, we have you know a good amount of home games before a little road trip we're gonna play um four more home games and then we'll have a road trip but overall good win for the sharks in ot and the sharks hold on to win and you know, i was afraid they were gonna lose that lead and they did and then it didn't end up mattering eric carlson gets the game winner gets that nice breakaway Timo Meyer set him up, and then Logan Couture really set the tone of the game. So anyways, guys, it's going to do it. The Sharks win over the Leafs. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I'll see you guys later, and yeah, go Sharks.